Hi there, I'm Ben and welcome to my guide for all four shells from Mortal Shell. Uh, this guide I'm going to show you the location of all four shells in the game. Basically they are your classes. There are timestamps in the description for each shell, so if you just want a specific one you can just jump to it. And then at the end of this video I'll show you how to change shells and how to name them or upgrade them, find the name basically. This first shell, you'll be hard to miss. You, This is the very start of the game. After the tutorial, walk forward, go left, you'll find this one. I'll briefly show you the stats at the end of each one here as well. This is Haros, it says unknown, but I've just not unlocked it yet. Again, I'll show you how to do that at the end. You need to unlock the naming of the shell before you can upgrade it. Uh, basically, these are your classes. Uh, that first one is kind of a medium one. It does nothing particularly well and does everything okay-ish. Um, you can get each shell from the beginning of the game. Two of them are stuck behind mini-bosses, but they're not too bad to defeat early on. Um, this next one we're going to get is um, my favourite one, Tael, the Acolyte. Um, from the beginning of the game, Fallgrim, Fallgrim Forest, um, go left and follow this path all the way down. You can run past these guys if you want or take them on, whatever. If you're just trying to get to the shell, uh, then you can just run past them and uh, make your way down here. So this one's going to have kind of a mini boss uh, behind it, or in front of it, should I say. Um, you have to get past him. So you've got to smash those pieces of wood. You can see there were some logs on the floor. You'll have to smash those with your sword to get through here. And then when you climb, going to climb through here. I've already killed him. But I'm just going to do a bit of a, a flashback so you can see the uh, the mini boss. Here he is. So he's uh, he sort of jumps at you, and as long as you either dodge or um, just block him with the turning into it hardening your shell basically he's not too bad he's kind of a, a basic enemy really um, yeah and once he's done uh, pick the shell up this is my favorite one Tael very weak very very weak but very very quick uh, and lots of stamina and the regen on the stamina is very quick as well durability and resolve low very low uh, so if you think <laughs> you're gonna take a lot of damage don't get that one so starting off here um, we're in Fallgrim Forest again. This is underneath the ruins or the tower. Uh, that's the main area of the game. You need to go and speak to um, Sester Janessa, so that's why I started there. Again, this is another one with a mini boss. Doesn't look so mini this one, but he's uh, he's not too bad as well. As long as you just get your dodging right and get your your shell timing right, you'll be fine. So you go into this cave. I've already killed him now, um, and then we're going to carry on to the bottom end. And that gets Solomon the Scholar. Again, he's through a little hole in the wall here. Um, you can't just... Well, you can just change your suits on the fly. Your your shells on the fly. Uh, but you do need a special effigy. They are pretty rare. Um, and they are consumable, so you can only do it a select number of times. You can change your suits, your shells, infinite amount of times. Uh, but you, I'll show you at the end of the video how to do that. This one has a lot of resolve. Uh, stamina is okay, durability is pretty good. Um, so again, if you want that, if you, you want that as your setup, then uh, yeah, go for that one. Uh, and then we're going to go to Eridim, Eridrim, Eridrim, <laughs> the Venerable. Let's go with that. Uh, same way. So going into this cave uh, where that mini boss was. And this one's quite far away. Um, this one doesn't have a, a mini boss in front of it or anything. It's out quite out in the open actually. Uh, but it is quite far away. Lots of little enemies on the way. Um, I will have taken care of them all. Watch out for the traps as well. You can see here there's traps on the floor, two of them. Just dodge around those. There'll be plenty of guys around here you'll have to take care of or run past. It's entirely up to you. Uh, this is the final one. So there are just four in the game. This one we're going getting now has a very high HP pool. So it's complete opposite of the one I'm using. I have the high stamina. So if you think you're going to be uh, taking a lot of damage and not getting the uh, the timing on the dodges and the uh, the shell block um, in time, then this one might be the one for you because it really does have a high uh, high HP pool HP, should I say? Although it does have very low stamina, I think stamina personally is a lot um, a lot better to have than uh, than health because running out of stamina can get you in some pretty tricky situations so you go down here and here he is just lying on the floor no one around him there were enemies on the way obviously but there's no one around him or this this suit uh, yeah so if, if you've got all four up to this point you'll get the you seem different trophy or achievement at this point 
and there he is Eridrim the Venerable very high durability but very little anything else so I'll just show you how to change your suit uh, the infinite amount of time so we're back under the tower or the ruins of Falgrim and then you just see them here so you can just switch to anyone you want so I'm going to switch back to Tyel or TL my favorite again and then uh, yeah speak to uh, Sester Janessa and uh, this is how you uh, level them up well you don't really level them up you you unlock abilities so you'll need glimpses and tar to do so and then you just hold X to unlock the name and then you're able to upgrade from there the shells do have different abilities assigned to them so choose whichever one you want and uh, upgrade it from there right let me know in the comments which one is your favorite shell and why thanks very much for watching and I'll see you on the next one